New England is currently digging out from a monstrous winter storm. Some areas have feet of snow. Now another winter storm system is about to roll through. Let's investigate how these happen because I've noticed the mainstream news is often unhelpful. Weather.com here, describing this next storm as a cold front advancing, as though it is marching across the states. In fact, it's being pulled. Let's see if we can actually understand this storm. There certainly is a cold front coming. You can see it here in the temperatures. And in so much that it is moving from west to east, it is advancing eastward. But in fact, there is more than cold. A heat aspect runs out ahead of the cold front, and this is always the case. Let's watch the last few hours on satellite. You can see clouds coming down from Canada, but you should also notice a cloud line out ahead of the cold front. This is what we refer to as a convergence line, created by colliding air masses. In general, this is a low pressure system always sucking in counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere, with the heat pushed out ahead as the warm air comes north, cold air coming down the western edge being pulled along. On the pressure overlay, purple to red is low, yellow to white is high pressure, which pushes out clockwise. You can see the high paired up with this winter storm low. It is located in the southeast. Looking at the precipitable water, that which has the ability to come down is running right up that convergence line of colliding air masses and swinging around the storm center to be frozen as the winter storm. So think about this. Much of the water that is coming down as snow across the Midwest that will soon reach New England is coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. This is how the weather works all around the globe. We saw a powerful low at Europe driving tonight's weather warnings there. Paired high to the southwest this time. In the southern hemisphere, the spin is reversed. Lows still suck in, but do it clockwise, while highs still push out, but do so counterclockwise. Looking at storm water potential again shows that colliding air convergence line attached to the eastern side of the lows, again. This is why the southeast will endure rain and thunderstorms to head into the weekend. It's a little bonus fact. In general, every day, every storm, same pattern applies. Here's the next one. 